Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Oksana and today I'm glad to share with you yoga for runners. So we're gonna stretch the hamstrings, the back of the knees and the glutes. Let's get ready and start. consult your doctor and make sure that the practice is suitable for you. Take care and enjoy. So let's begin our practice comfortably laying down to the mat by pulling the knees into the chest and giving yourself nice tight squeeze. Letting go any tension from the glutes, from the knees. Connecting with your breath. Let's focus on the right knee by pulling to the chest and extending left leg straight down. Relaxing through the both shoulders, head and neck. Couple of circles through the right knee, connecting with the inner groin and hip flexor, releasing any tightness from that space. And then reversing. Interlacing the fingers underneath your right knee and extending right leg up and bend. Again, up and bend. Just letting go any tension, any pressure after your run or after any active workout. Continue with the right ankle circles. Then reversing. Let's pull that right knee into the chest, into the hamstring stretch. We're just slowly inch by inch, unlocking every part of our legs. Bending the left knee, bring the right foot over the left thigh and gently press your right knee away from the right hip by opening that right hip flexor a bit deeper and more. Let's catch the left knee, clasping the fingers and pulling the left knee into the chest. Start feeling the stretch through the right glute. Just keep noticing any sensations coming up, extending left leg straight up. We're still there in the glute stretch. Notice how everything is feeling today. Bending the left knee and let's tuck the knees over each other, widening the feet, catching the both feet, opening the feet a bit wider away from the center. That's good, good stretch, deeper and deeper stretch through the glutes, connective tissues. As you exhale, release that cross, spread your arms to the side or over the head and take a gentle spinal twist to your left. Let's get back to the center and let's collect both knees and one more tight hug, pulling the nose to the knee. Switching to the left leg, right leg down, left knee into the chest. Notice how you're feeling today through the left side. Knee circles, activating and waking up that hip. Letting go any cracks, hops out and then switching that circles. Clasp your fingers behind your left knee and extend your left leg up and down. Extend and bend. Come. 
Continue with the ankle circles, one direction and then reversing. Hamstring stretch, keeping the left leg straight, pull that knee into your chest. It doesn't matter how close you are to your chest, just find that angle until you feel good stretch. Left foot over the right thigh, gently start sending the left knee away from the left hip. Opening more and more, releasing any tension, whatever is holding you back. Catching the right knee and try to pull the right knee a bit closer to your chest, giving yourself glued stretch. Extending right leg up, breathing into the tension, into the stiffness, into the any tightness. Well done, let's cross the knees over each other, left knee over the right, catch your both feet and open your feet a bit wider than your hips. Try to relax through the upper body. Releasing the hands, spinal twist to your right. Keep your belly soft, breathing in and out through the lower back. Roll back to your back, pull the both knees into the chest and let's come up, up to the tabletop position. Aligning your wrist with the shoulders, fingers wide and open and knees and the hips. Tuck your toes under, press your hips back. Stretching the soles of the feet, each tip of your toe. Now reach your arms forward, relax your head down. Releasing any tiredness from the feet, toes and ankles. Let's get back to the tabletop. Untuck your toes. Hero pose. We're going to continue stretch through the feet. You can stay here or bring the hands behind you and gently lifting the knees of the ground. You don't have to lift, you just need to lean back. Get back to the tabletop. Toes under, toes squat, reach your fingers up, cross your wrists, catch your elbows, press your elbows back chest is open release your palms back to the tabletop untuck your toes one more time ankle stretch leaning back lifting the knees of the ground back to the tabletop toes under hips to the heels arms up inhale cross your wrists catch your elbows Stay heavy over the heels. Give your toes nice stretch. Well done, guys. Let's get back to the mat. Untuck your toes. And let's continue with the cat and cow. Inhaling through the arching. Exhaling through the rounding. As you're inhaling, lengthening through the spine. Exhaling, chin tuck, back stretch. And again, big inhale. Exhale, chin tuck, press the mat away from you. Extending the right leg out, keeping the toes active, press your right heel back and down. You might feel good stretch through the calf muscle, the back of the knee and hamstring. Now send your right leg over the left, and gaze over the left shoulder, glute stretch, oblique muscle stretch. Back to the tabletop, let's switch, left leg straight back, press into the back heel.
and then send your left leg over the right gaze over the right shoulder and back to the tabletop we're going to continue with the left leg through the hip circles and then reverse keeping that left leg 90 degree angle reach your right arm forward drop the left elbow down and reach your back foot with the right hand gazing over the right shoulder start feeling the stretch of your quadriceps release back up Step your left foot in between the hands, runner's lunge. Relax through the shoulders. Take a moment here and deep down through the hips. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, lean back, hamstring stretch. Back to the runner's lunge and exhale, hamstring stretch. Inhale. Deep down through the hips, exhale, lean back. Enjoy the opening through the hips and the back of the legs. Let's stay in the half split, keeping your breath really deep. Let's get back to the runner's lunge. Keeping the right palm on the mat, reach your left arm up, easy spinal twist. Reach your back foot with the left hand and sand that back foot back away from the left shoulder. How are you feeling through the right quadricep? It feels great, right? Then releasing, let's step the left foot back into the downward dog. In downward dog, imagine that you're going for the very slow jog. Bend your right knee. And then left, that's really lazy jog. And again, right knee. And left, just really slow down everything. Let it all go. Press your both heels into the mat. And as you exhale, let's start dropping the knees down to the mat. Tabletop position. I'm going to switch to the right leg, starting with the hip circles. Bend that right knee and go ahead. And then reverse. Keeping that right knee bent 90 degrees, left arm reaching forward. Just have some fun, catch your balance. Right elbow down, left hand right foot back bend and we are done here let's step the right foot forward in between the hands into the runner's lunge make sure that your right knee ankle over each other allow your hips to deep down allow your chest to be proud and open as you exhale lean back Hamstring stretch. And again, inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, hamstring stretch. Continue another two, three times. All right, let's lean back, hamstring stretch, and just staying here and enjoy the feelings. Relax and soften your face. Just letting go any drama, any worries. Bending the right knee, left palm on the mat, right arm up, easy spinal twist. Reach your back foot with the right hand and go deeper through the hips. Opening through the shoulders, gazing behind you. Releasing the right palm down and let's step back to the downward dog. 
and we're gonna continue our lazy jog here just bending knees one at a time and continue walking up to the front of the mat find your halfway up flat back exhale gentle forward bend as you inhale, rise up, reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, palms to the heart. Let's open our feet wider than the hips, toes slightly out. As you inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the lower back, gentle back bend. Pressing the hips forward, chest up. Big inhale, reaching up. Exhale, deep squat, reach your fingers to the end of the mat, send your head down. And again, inhale, rise up, exhale, back bend, letting go any tension through the lower back, opening through the heart, big inhale, reach up, exhale, deep down, the crown of the head reaching down, the fingertips reaching back, and one more time, inhale, Exhale, back bend. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, deep squat. We're going to stay here for a moment. Breathing deeply. Keeping the weight on the heels. Let's go even deeper into Malasana Yogic Squat. Elbows into the knees. Press your palms firmly. Big thumb in the middle of your rib cage. Keep your back straight. Keep that smile over the face. Release your fingertips down. Press your hips up. Gentle forward bend. And back to Malasana. And let's take another two times. Forward bend. And then back to Malasana. And just last one up forward bend and down into the yogic squat press your hips up and collect your feet with the hip distance apart as we inhale take a halfway exhale put your palms underneath the soles of the feet pull your nose to the knees keep your legs active kneecaps in Send all your breath to the hamstrings, the back of the knees, calf muscles. Releasing the palms. As you inhale up to mountain, reaching up. Exhale, palms to the heart. Now as you inhale, one more back bend, spreading the arms. Send the hips forward. Exhaling, waving down, hugging your legs nice and tight. And again, wave up, open, send a big hug, exhale, forward bend, nose to the knees, and one more time, big inhale, opening through the heart, exhaling, waving through the spine, catching the elbows, pulling the nose to the knees. Take a halfway to inhale. And let's step our both feet back, dropping the knees, chest and chin, Ashtanga Namaskara, heels to the glute, hips down, upward dog. And let's press back to the child pose. Again, waving through the spine into the upward dog, toes to the hat, hat to the toes, press back, child pose. Inhaling, rounding, opening through the heart, exhaling, waving back, sitting back. And again, upward dog, head to the toes, exhaling, child pose. Well done, guys. From here, we want to just walk a little bit forward, open the feet pretty wide. Keep your hips in between the feet. Make sure there is space behind you. If it's too hard for you, you can use one of the pillows and just sit over it and maybe that will be enough for you. If you feel that your knees and quadriceps are flexible enough, you can just lean down to the elbows. 
or maybe all the way down to the back. Make sure that your knees are still square and knees are grounded. I want you to send lots of love and lots of healing breath to the front of your thighs. Any space that is talking to you right now, send lots of breath. With every new out breath, little by little, letting go any kind of stress, any kind of tension. Very slowly start coming up and let's take a downward dog to release, to move around a little bit. Just notice how you're feeling after that hold. Let's take the right leg up, bending the right knee. Two circles through the knee and then reverse and then stepping your right foot forward in between the hands dropping the back knee down as you inhale reach your arms up let's again catch our elbows and open through the heart low lunge now spreading the arms to the side Lean forward and keep your back leg straight. Keep your gaze forward through the tip of the nose. Release both hands down and then we're going to take a seat, twisting to your right, keeping the right knee bent. Reach up and then exhale forward bend. Keep your all 10 fingers active, reaching, reaching forward. All the way back, let's bring the left palm behind us, pressing into the both feet, into the flip dog. Breathing here, enjoying the feeling of opening. Get back. Let's reach the right arm up and bring it underneath your right knee. Right arm reaching back. Try to reach your both fingers behind your back. And there is more space, extend your right leg forward, keep your right knee bent. Start opening through the central hips and shoulder stretch. Releasing the both arms, keeping the legs nice and wide. We're going to travel with you from the right to left side. So find the center, take a big inhale. As you exhale, yeah, I'm just going to be centered so you can see me properly. Let's go to your right leg and then to the left. Again to the right and left. Try to stay as low as you can. Keeping the toes active. Let's stay and stretch over the right leg. Couple of breaths here. All right, guys, let's bend the right knee and from the right foot, we're going to get back to the plank, stepping both feet back slowly and carefully. Just one chaturanga, upward dog as we inhale. Let's get back to the downward dog. You can stay still or move around a little bit. Once you're ready, this time left leg up, bend the left knee, go for the two circles through the left hip flexor, and then reverse. Extend your left leg up and big step forward in between the hands, dropping the back knee down, rising up, inhale, exhale. We're going to open up through the chest, gently back bending. Let's spread the arms to the side, lean halfway down, activate your back leg, stay strong through the both legs, release your both hands down, and let's take a seat, 
over the both glutes, keeping the left knee bent, right leg straight. Arms up, inhale, reach forward, exhale. Keep crawling through the all 10 fingers. All right, this time left arm up, bring it behind your lower back, press into the both feet, lifting the glutes, sending your heart up, and very slowly release back down to the mat. And this time left arm up, we're gonna bring it underneath the left knee, trying to catch your both hands behind you. You can use a towel, or you can use any strap if your hands far away. So you can stay here guys, or try to extend your left leg out into the wide leg forward bend. All right, let's release, unlock our hands. Open the legs pretty wide. Dropping the elbows down if you can reach. If you cannot, just keep your palms on the mat. Try to keep your back straight. Legs are active. Keep your feet flexed. Let's continue our walks from the left to the right side. Staying nice and low. And let's lean over the left leg. Breathing into that left side. All right, let's bend the left knee and through the left foot, pressing all the way up, back to the downward dog directly. And again, take a moment here, just a little bit, releasing any tension, collecting all sensations. We're gonna continue, right leg up, bend your knee and bring that shin bone just behind your wrist. Extend your left leg straight back. See if you can reach the mat, edges of the mat, sending your heart forward, centering through the hips. And let's go down to the slipping pigeon pose Dropping the elbows down. And maybe all the way down, forehead resting over the palms. Make sure that you're not collapsing to your right side. Hips in one level. See if you can allow yourself. Be heavy here, relaxing each muscle. Allowing gravity do the work for you. And very slowly, let's come up to the palms, reaching the back foot with the left hand. Maybe going deeper, dropping the right elbow down and pulling that left hip into the heel. Well done, guys. Let's release. Come up to the palms. Slightly lift up, extend your right leg out to the left and lowering down to your belly. In this pose, we're trying to keep our chest shoulders over the mat. You will feel stretch through the right glute, gentle spinal twist and again, just be heavy here. Use your own weight to deepen to this pose. Let's get back up to the palms and step your both feet back into the downward dog. Take a couple of breaths. And this time left leg up, bend your left knee. Just bring it behind your wrist. Extend your right leg back far, sitting nice and tall. Start reaching the hands back, catching the edges of the mat, squeezing the shoulder blades, opening through the rib cage. Walk your elbows down, stay here or you can go even deeper, resting your forehead over the palms. 
Just make sure that the angle of your left leg is correct, works for you, you're still centered, you're not falling to your left or right side. Slowly start waking up and catching the back foot with the right hand. You can just stay here or maybe going deeper elbow down to the mat. Keep your breath even more active. You can take a couple of breaths out through the mouth. If you feel there is too much heat, too much tension, press up into the palms. Extend your left leg out to your right and gently lower it down into your belly in the chest. Take a moment here to align everything. Make sure that your upper body on the mat. Breathe into the left glute. And stay as relaxed as you can. Let's come up to the palms, press back into the downward dog. Let's take a step forward, crossing the legs, extending the legs straight forward, keeping the feet together, shake your knees, letting go, keeping the feet active, reaching the arms up, sitting nice and tall, See if you can lift your heels inch of the ground, really keeping the kneecaps in. We can stay a bit longer in that position. And then once you feel that's enough, you can just go ahead for forward bend. You can use a pillow if you're pretty far. You can take first level of the pillow, second level, or maybe even without pillow also works for you. So I just want you to keep your legs really straight here, sending all stretch to the hamstrings, back of the knees, calves. Releasing. We're going to close our practice by the wall, coming closer to the wall and extending legs straight up, spreading the arms, slightly opening the feet allowing your feet to fall apart. I would suggest you to stay in this pose for at least five minutes so you can reverse your blood circulation, letting go any tension from the feet, relaxing each tip of your toe, ankle, shins, cuffs, knees, the back of the knees, hamstrings. Take a moment and notice how you're feeling right now. Remember yourself before you practice. Maybe you just came after a run or you have a long day on your feet. I want you to connect with yourself and asking yourself how I am feeling right now. So remember you can stay longer or you can pull the knees into the chest, swing to your right or left side and take any comfortable sitting position. Take a couple of shoulder rotations. Take a big inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, bring your palms to the heart. Thank you guys for joining my practice. I hope you enjoyed and you feel great. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.